Parents are working to support a new mom who gave birth in a tent at Roding Park last night. Both parents don't have a permanent place to stay. Natalie Vera has a closer look at how the community is coming together just for them. People welcomed their newborn baby on Friday night at Roding Park in Fresno. He said that she basically unzipped her pants and when she pulled them down, the baby just, and he had to catch the baby. The new parents don't have a roof over their heads. When they called 911, unfortunately, they told him there's a 30 minute wait. And so he he lost it, you know, with the baby right there. And, you know, you're a newborn dad. You don't know what to do. You're standing out in the street. Everything's dirty. Des Martinez is an advocate for the homeless. She says the baby was born early and will need to stay in the hospital for 10 days to gain weight. She says the father is still processing everything. So he's actually utilizing the restrooms here to clean up so he can be presentable for his son. The mom is in the hospital too. She had to go under a blood transfusion because she's anemic. Martina says the mom is doing well, but the parents need help. On Sunday, the We Are Not Invisible founder set up at the park after asking the community to bring donations. We got um, a stroller, a car seat, bassinet, you got diapers, um, some blankets. They're also taking donations for mom and dad. Like sweatpants, t-shirts, shoes, you know, especially for mom because she's going to need all the relaxing clothes. Martina says she's been able to secure a room for the new mother at a family shelter, but it's not a permanent solution. I'm hoping that this brings light um, to Fresno that we need more family um, help out here, especially for the pregnant women. We should have them go to the family shelter prior to giving birth. She says sometimes pregnant women can't go to the family shelter because they don't have the kid yet. She also pointed out some family shelters don't let the dad stay. We have to keep these families together. For now, she's still taking donations for the family. You can reach out to her on Facebook at the Homeless in Fresno page. Reporting in Fresno, Natalie Vera, KC24, Local News that Matters. New tonight for us.